Welcome back to A Taste of K. I'm back with another unboxing video. Today I have the Time and Table Signature Edition 28 piece nonstick cookware and bakeware set. Here's a quick view of the images as well as the information that is listed on the outside of the box. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read any of this information. This is the Time and Table 28 piece nonstick cookware and bakeware set. It's from their signature edition and it's also part of their gold speckle collection. I did purchase this from my local Walmart with a price tag of $79. The first three pieces, or should I say six pieces, that I'm going to be showing you is the stock pot, saute pan, as well as the saucepan. I say six pieces because they do count the lid as a piece. Here we have the six quart nonstick stock pot with the tempered glass lid that has silicone vented rims. The pots and pans that I'll be showing you in this video, they all have this stainless steel handle as well as stainless steel induction base and it's suitable for all cooktops. Moving right along, we have the 3.5 quart saute pan with the same tempered glass lid that has the silicone vented rim. I'm always just measuring the two tops the one from the stock pan as well as the saute pan. It seemed like they're identical, the same size. I was just checking to see if it fits either or, which it did. With the saute pan, the saucepan, as well as both of the frying pans, they do have a hanging hole for easy storage. And this is the smallest pan of them all. This is the 2.5 quart sauce pan, and it also comes with the glass lid. I've shown you the stock pan, the saute pan, as well as the sauce pan. That's six pieces in total. They do count the glass lid as a piece. So you have the three pans with the three lids that give you the six pieces. This set did come with two frying pans. You have an eight inch frying pan, as well as a 10 inch frying pan. First, I'll be showing you the 10 inch frying pan, followed by the eight inch frying pan. Keep in mind that these are frying pans, so they did not come with any lids.
The next item is the cookware protectors. It comes with four. One 17.7 inch, two 15.7 inches, and one 13.7 inch. Now this is how the cookware protectors look like. You basically use this when you're storing your pots and pans so they don't scrape against each other and remove that non-stick coating. Here, I'll give a quick demonstration on how you can use it. You basically take one of the cookware protectors and place it inside one of the pots and pans. And if you're stacking them, you'll place another pan on top of the protector. That way, the base of the pan do not rub against that non-stick coating and ruin your pots and pans. These items here count as 12 pieces of the 28 piece set. You have measuring cups and spoons as well as nylon utensils. You know, when you're using any nonstick cookware or bakeware, you're not supposed to use any metal utensils. They did provide four nylon utensils. They have the slotted turner, a pointed spatula, a ladle, as well as a spoon. You can also use wooden or silicone utensils. I would have counted the measuring cups as one piece, but they are considering this to be four pieces. For the measuring cups, you have one cup, half a cup, one third cup, as well as one fourth cup. The measuring spoons is counted as four pieces. You have your half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, half a tablespoon, as well as one tablespoon. Here is the final four pieces, which is part of the bakeware set. You have one cookie sheet, one piece of pan, one baking tray, as well as one round cake pan. This is the round cake pan and it is nine inches. Moving right along, there's an 11.4 inch piece of pan. Looking at it, I can't really tell you what size pizza will fit on this. Keep in mind, this is just an unboxing video. Maybe later on in the future, I'll be able to say. Now the second to last item is a baking tray. It's nine inches by 13 inches. The last item I'll be showing you is the cookie sheet, which is 14 inches by 16 inches. This concludes the unboxing of this time and table 28 piece nonstick cookware and bakeware set. Now only time will tell if this was really worth $79. Now, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you'll see a quick review. If you've made it this far into the video and you have not subscribed to A Taste of Cake, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Here's a quick video of me using the 3.5 saute pan as well as the six quart stock pot. This is the first time that I was using any of these pieces. Um, with the 3.5 saute pan, I did make some stewed chicken. Haitian style stew chicken. If you want to see a video on how to make this, you can click the link in the description box. It'll have a previous video that I've made. Um, with the saute pan, I was able to fit 10 chicken drumsticks. Now with the handle on the saute pan, it did get warm, but not hot enough where I couldn't touch it with my bare hand, but it is best to use pot holders when touching the handle definitely when removing the lid. The lid did get very hot. Now this is how the stewed chicken look after I'm done cooking. I did allow it to sit in the saute pan for about five to 10 minutes before I emptied it into a different container. I did that just so I can see how the saute pan looked after I took the stewed chicken out. I did allow the saute pan to get to room temperature before cleaning with warm water and soap. 
With the six quart stock pot, I did use it to make some dui jonjon, which is a Haitian style rice using mushroom stock. Um, if you'd like to see a video on a rice similar to this, you can click the link in the description box below. Now comparing the stock pot to the saute pan, these handles did get very hot. You definitely will need pot holders to handle the handles as well as the handle on the lid. I did the same thing with the stock pot as I did the saute pan. I emptied the rice into a different container just so I can see if any of the rice stick to the bottom. You can stay connected with The Taste of K on Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. I want to say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.